The Marines are the country's most elite fighting force. Marines are made during 13 weeks of grueling boot camp. Women have been serving for decades and can now serve in combat roles, but just 8% of the force is female. 9 and 10's Chloe Keipel and photojournalist William Bly went to the Marine Corps Recruit Depot on Paris Island, South Carolina, to meet two northern Michigan women training to be Marines. They're part of the determined 8%. There's only one road to get on and off Paris Island, home to the Marine Corps Recruit Depot. The road, a physical divider between the mainland and base, and a bridge between those who enter as civilians and leave as Marines. Every Marine recruit's journey starts here, on the yellow footprints. And what follows is 13 weeks and the hardest challenge of their life. Recruits learn basic warrior training, marksmanship, Marine history, and character. Pushing recruits to their mental and physical limits. The whole process has to be, have to be intense because we want the best of the best in the Marine Corps. And the best of the best doesn't discriminate, male or female, the title is yours if you earn it. Being a female Marine is no different than being a male Marine. We train together, we do everything together. Let's go! Women have trained here for decades, but still just 8% of the Marine Corps is female. That's the lowest percentage of all the armed forces. Marine recruit Madison St. Ange of Cadillac plans to grow that number. I just wanted to get out and I wanted to do something big and bold. I wanted to you know, put myself out there because there's a lot that goes with the Marine Corps. For Madison, the Marines offered a chance to be part of something bigger. I went to school and I went home every day. That's what I did. And then I got a job at Speedway. I was working every morning, opening. I've experienced people who bring me down, put me down all the time. They tell me I'm not going anywhere. And it's just, it's a very small town, very small city. I'm just going to push through it and prove them wrong. For Traverse City native Kira Trudeau, choosing to be a Marine recruit runs in her blood. My dad and my brother are Marines, and I, uh, keeping it in the family, no other female in my, in my family is a Marine. So following their legacy and creating my own, I thought would be a good choice. And she hopes future generations follow in her footsteps. I know that other generations of females in my family be able to follow my lead and hopefully embark on the same trail that I did. Kira and Madison live just 56 miles apart and had never met. Now they share a bond, becoming two of the few females to join the Marines. It just pushes me more. It makes me want to show other women out there that you can be a United States Marine. I think it's a good thing for females to join things like the military to prove, not so much prove because we don't have anything to prove. We can do it. We don't need anyone to tell us that we can or cannot. These northern Michigan women paving the way for themselves and the service women who will follow. I would have never thought that I would be here even just something as small as running a three mile run. I never would have been able to do that. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. If you think you're not going to be able to do something, you need to just put yourself out there and do it anyway. At the Marine Corps Recruit Depot on Paris Island, South Carolina, Chloe Keipel, 9 and 10 News.